now is we're going to uh, put all our ingredients into this pot. Now remember, uh, I mentioned in my previous video that every time you, you use the Ninja Foodie, this is going to be part of it and this has to be inside here. So what we're going to now add is we are going to first of all add about two tablespoons of oil and then we're going to take our whole spices and I'll just show you. So I've just got um, some cinnamon sticks, some cloves, star anise, whole black pepper and then we're also going to add in a teaspoon of whole cumin and then we're going to add in the lamb meat so i've got about 150 grams of lamb meat and that's a mixture of uh on the bone and boneless as well so in that goes and then we're going to add in a cup of fried onions and then the spices that we are going to add is one teaspoon of cumin powder one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I've got about half a teaspoon of red chili powder, but you can add more or less depending on how hot you want it. And then also I've got some garam masala as well, and we're going to add about one and a half teaspoons of that. And then, of course, we can add some salt as well, and that is to your taste. So I'll just add about half a teaspoon of salt. And then I've just sliced up some garlic as well. So we're just going to chuck that in. And also, I've got some minced garlic and ginger paste, and I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of that. And also, we're going to add about two cups of water. Now you have got some measurements along the line here. You might not be able to actually see it um, on there, on camera, but they are measured in cups um, and also in liters. So we're going to add two cups, which is just about there. So we just add that in. there you go and then we're just going to give that all a mix like this and then what we're going to do now for this what we're going to be using our pressure lid so i've got that here and i'll just show you okay so what you'll see is you'll see a little arrow here on the ninja foodie and also on the lid there will be an arrow there as well and it will tell you which way just help us and that will guide us to make sure that we have correctly close the lid and that's secure now there you go and you should also when you close it you should be able to hear it click so that's in place so now I'm going to show you what we have to do with the valve so I'm just gonna show you that closely Guys, before I forget to mention, um, the crisping lid will stay upright just like this. Um, just sit there happily, we don't have to worry about that. So now let me just show you what we're going to do with the valve. So guys, the valve, now that freely moves around. Now what we need to do is we need to move it to seal and then I'll show you guys when we need to flick it onto vent. But for now, let's move it back to seal. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what we're going to do on this, uh, the function panel here. So we are going to switch this on. So that's the power button. Now, as you can see, um, because we've got the pressure lid on here, we will get the pressure, we will get these options here on top. When we're using the air crisp lid, these will light up here. So now what we're going to do is press pressure. So these all will switch off. We're gonna keep the temperature on high. And then we are going to pressure cook this. I'm going to set that to three minutes. And then all you do is you just press the start button. Now, once the start button is pressed, you will see that the, there will be a light here that will turn blue. And that means that the pressure cooking is in use. So let's just press that. 
and then what you'll see is you'll see the lights going round here. Now that means that the pressure is building up inside and then what will happen is once that's ready we'll see that it will count down to then three minutes it will then change to keep warm and then it will start counting upwards and then you'll need to wait for 10 minutes and then what we'll have to do is we will move over near the valve and I'll flick that to the vent and then all the pressure will release and then it should be ready and then we'll have a we'll take a look and also just to let you know is whilst that's doing its thing we were not able to open the lid for safety reasons of course so that will stay locked since it's all depressurized then we'll be able to unlock this i don't know if you can see that guys but um, naturally the pressure is releasing and that will carry on for a little while So at the moment, there's a little button, it's, it's down, and then it will pop up. And that's popped up now, so that's released. Now the pressure cooking time has started here, from three minutes, and that's counting down. And also, the steam releasing as well. Okay guys, so we've got about 10, min uh, 10 seconds sorry, left on that, um, and then you'll see that it will automatically automatically then change onto the keep warm after it's done its thing so you'll go you'll say done and then yeah so now that's started and then we'll wait for 10 minutes on that and then I'll show you what to do next so guys the 10 minutes is now up and now I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the valve then guys, what we're just going to release the pressure. So I'm just going to flick that over to vent and you'll be able to see that the steam is now releasing. And also the red button has gone down as well, which means it is done. Um, and I should be able to also open the lid. So we should be able to easily lift the lid. Uh, so I'm just gonna turn that and there you go. And I'm just also going to show you what it looks like. So there you go, guys. That's cooked. And the meat also, if I could, yeah, well, it's, it's cooked nicely as well. And it's breaking off nicely as well. Don't know if you can see that. So it breaks off nicely. And then I'm, what we're also going to do now is I'm also going to add rice in there as well. And we're going to pressure cook that as well. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to add about half a cup of water in here. There you go. And then in there, we're going to add the rice. Now I've got a cup of rice here and I've, all, I've washed this. So we're just going to throw that in. Um, and then we're just going to mix that in. And also I am going to add in some potatoes. So I've just got one potato and just cut that into chunks. And mix that in. This and also you can taste it as well if you think you need to add some spices or if you want to add some salt in there then you can. That's fine. And then we're going to take our pressure lid and again, we just got the arrows here. So we're just gonna match those up and then secure that like this. And then we are going to uh, press pressure. Keep that on high. And we're going to time that for three minutes. And then we are going to press start. And then again, you'll see the same thing. The light will turn blue here. You'll have some lights going round, so the pressure's building up inside. Countdown will start for three minutes, and then it will change to keep warm, and then it will count up to 10 minutes, and then we can release whatever pressure is left inside. 
So guys, we've got about, about five seconds remaining and then that will change to keep warm and then we'll leave that for 10 minutes. So guys, that's almost done now. It's, it's been about 10 minutes um, and then we are just going to release the pressure. So we're just gonna move over to the valve um, and then we are just going to flick that over to vent. And then once all the steam has released, it will be, you know, safe to open the lid. Once that's done, the button, the red button at the back goes down. Let's take a look inside and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. That looks great. So we're, we're well, we're ready to serve. So here you go guys, you've got your one pot, lamp allow in 20 minutes. Try it out, let me know what you think in the comments below or you can even tag me in a picture. If you've made this before, I would love to hear what you did different. If you enjoyed this, please do give me a thumbs up and to see more delicious recipes, do subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.